The main problem of the Shabab is to remind everybody that they, they still exist. Because the government in Mogadishu is in a process of a slow motion disintegration. And um, the Shabab want to show that, yes, we're here. And if things go all the way to the ground, uh, we'll be there. Okay, and just tell us a bit more about what the objectives are of uh, this militant group, Al-Shabaab. I mean, by killing uh, this many uh, civilians, and as we said, it's not the first time, uh, are they hoping that they're going to somehow weaken uh, the, the Somali government? Yes, of course. And uh, this shows the enormous change of the attitude of guerrilla groups towards their, civil their uh, civilian uh, uh, backup, possible backup. You know, we're not in the days of Mao Zedong who say that uh, you win uh, the support of the masses by winning their sympathy. Now uh, you terrify uh, your potential supporters into submission before you step up. And just give us a bit of background about how all of this began. How did Al-Shabaab uh, become quite so strong as to uh, to be able to carry out attacks on this scale? Well, it, it was part of a uh, um, an electoral victory some, uh, well, what about 10 years ago, uh, 12 years ago, uh, when Al-Shabaab was just the military arm of the Islamist movement but was not in the forefront of power activities, of governmental type of activities. But they won the elections. I mean, their global group, the Union of Islamic Courts. And um, instead of saying, well, we'll try to see how it works. And by the way, this was not uh, through terror or violence. It was an electoral process, of course, very flawed election, but an election anyway. Um, the Ethiopian army invaded Somalia. Um, of course, uh, the result was an immediate coalition of the population against the Ethiopian invaders, who are still perceived as uh, Christian invaders. Uh, and the next two years put al-Shabaab in the position where it, it is now.